Okay, here we go. Wait, okay, here we go, ready? Here we go, let's go. <laughs> you look gray. Yeah, just try to flex your body so you gain velocity. <laughs> I don't want to gain speed. I don't want to gain speed. Yeah. It's because here is like nice view, it's a sunset. John Anthony here with my lovely girlfriend in Brazil and we are out, we discovered this new little area here with uh, sandboarding. We'll roll a couple of clips. We are out at the beach for the day with one of our threesome girls and I think we fixed the wind problem. This is like an extreme wind environment right now. Mm -hmm. We'll show a little picture of the, mm -hmm. <laughs> the, uh, the dead cat which is this fucking furry thing that goes over the mic mm -hmm. and we're using a shotgun mic instead of the the lav mic. So hopefully this fixes much. I actually thought it was a mic, right? Yeah. Today in the morning. Before we were going, yeah, I kicked the little thing. And... Yeah, he was like, damn, it was, ah! <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, the point of this video is, um, a lot of my clients, once I get them good with how to sleep with girls, they just start treating it like kind of callous, right? Like they'll just meet up with the girl, uh, bang her, and then when they invite her over again, it's just a bang and the girl leaves. So there's all kinds of cool shit you can do to bolster the rest of your connection together. Um, today we were having festivities around the house and then uh, spending the whole day at the beach and now she rolled off and we are doing this fucking sandboarding here it's with this nice. beautiful picturesque background um, but yeah what what did you have to add to that like I know you've told me before like it puts you off mm -hmm. when, the, when the guys just like all about like just sex because a lot of girls don't want to feel like a piece of meat yeah. right so like Basically, if you if you only invite the girl to do sexual activities, she's going to start getting like a little sick of that. And she's going to start saying like, "Oh, I think all you want is sex," or "I think we're looking for something different," this and that, and she's just going to ghost. So, why don't you give the woman's perspective? I think like we just want to have fun, like do some like fun activities, like for example, this is nice, like enjoy the day by the beach, or just like go out like for some that you guys like enjoying doing together. You know, I don't know, maybe like a beer contest, like I don't know, or like a dog's contest or something that's like fun for both of like, you know, the people then there. Because there, it makes no sense if the other person is not having fun too, you know? Yeah. You can see, you can feel that. Yeah, the, the point is, is it's like, um, there's a lot more of a relationship to have with a girl than just the sexual part. And if you just abuse the sexual part and just like keep setting up all the hangouts solely based around sex, that's going to lead to the girl starting to feel like you're just only interested in sex. So you want to actively combat that. So I always tell guys like on the second date when I go out with a girl, we'll typically go out for dinner. And a lot of guys are like, oh, I don't want to go out and take a girl out to dinner because I'm spending money on her or I'm being a provider or whatever else. And I tell guys like when you're out to dinner with a girl, like you're, you're, you're like exploring the more serious romantic side along with the fun, playful side that you had on the first date. And um, you know, the girl is seeing like you're making an effort to go meet out in public again versus just coming straight to the house to bang. Etc. Etc. So, kind of the moral of the story is, make sure you're doing a diverse set of fun activities, so that the girl does not get bored and does not get the wrong idea. I think the main thing is like you have to put some investment in, like your time, your energy. Like it's not cool if you do like the same thing, like Netflix and movies and chill. That's no fun. Like if it's, it's nice if you have like something different to talk about, you know, or maybe something that you guys don't know. Damn, that was good shot. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> that was a good one. Okay, keep going. <laughs> or maybe. As I said here, the wind is uh. It's me. very very wide. So as I was saying, it's good if you want some like some investment, like energy and time, you know, like to do something like different from just chilling and watching Netflix, but going for something that's fun and like new for both of you guys, you know. So it'll be yeah. like something more genuine, you know, to do like some nice activity like to spend that you guys enjoy doing you know yeah, and it's good like like some of the favorites I used to do like in the States I would go to there's a place called Dave and Busters I don't know if you saw that, have you seen that one here in the States it's like an adult arcade like you can play like games and you're competing against each other and you have like friendly competition and you want to do something where you can like talk throughout the whole thing like some guys will go 
take your all to a movie, oh you sit together at the movie, and then no, you leave the movie, but you didn't have any time to like connect. Yeah, or, it's about it was yeah. So, yeah, so my typical sequence, I'll do like drink your coffee on the first date, I'll do dinner on the second date, and then the third date is simply like something a little bit more fun. And the girl will appreciate that you're putting an effort and giving kind of a range of experiences and keeping things interesting. Um, because I've had a lot of clients recently, like, you know, they're asking, like, what if the girl's saying, like, you're just treating me like sex, or, or you're just treating me like a sexual object, or you're just treating me. Yeah, that's so bad. That's um, so bad. And I told, I, I told the guys, like, if a girl tells you that, just tell her, like, sex is a small part of things. That's, that's only, um, that's just a little bit. There's all this other non-physical stuff I like about you, and list out those things. And then try to do, like, a, the next hangout, just do it straight in public, where you don't even have her over to your house. And if you do get into a situation where you can hook up, don't make any moves. And if the girl tries, be like, hey, like, I want to, like, sit things down. You just have to, like, kind of take a bullet to, like, buy you a better position in more time. <laughs> so we'll roll some footage here of uh, <laughs> of doing going down these uh, these dunes. Basically, oh my god, that's so fun! I'm from upstate New York, where there's a ton of snow. This is basically like uh, is the opposite, but with sand. Sledding, but, yeah, with sand. It's so, so uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't be that guy that's just using them for sex because they're going to catch on and you're going to lose the chick, all right? No. That doesn't mean you need to, you know, be gallivanting around town all the time, but just make sure you mix it up with dates straight to the house. Cool. All right, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe below if you have not already. And we will see you on the next video. Hopefully this wind problem is now fixed. Cool. Take care, guys. For the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active, while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.